Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Euro Truck episode. Just a short one today, I'll only be on an hour or so, but I'm just going to get a job going and then we can. Uh oh, my headphones. I didn't have time to charge me. Well, I haven't been in the office for a couple of days, so in the old games room, so nothing's charged or anything like that. So everything's a bit flat. All right, uh, where's that? That's empty pallets to Dramon. What's that one? Cat food. We could run some uh, cat food. All right, there we go. Right, I'm gonna run a bit of cat food. I hope everyone's doing well. Hey, uh, this is single player, mate. I don't do multiplayer through the day at all. It's always single player through the day. Yeah, getting there, getting there. Still there, uh, still in a lot of pain, but. <laughs> Unfortunately, part of not being well, I think a lot of people forget that I'm. Uh, just because you're not physically uh, not well on camera doesn't mean you're not. <laughs> I, I'll never have a normal life like that, so. Right. So we're in Inverness, if anyone's interested, and can't really think where the job's going, but. Yeah, Stewie, I know, just, it was a close battle, but I don't know if it'll be this close next, you know, this time next month, but, uh, we'll see. Is there any plans to get a Fnatic base? Well, I've got a broken one, and I've got a brand new 2.5 on order. Right, do you join Armstrong Haulage on VTC or... Well, VTC isn't VTC. VTC is Virtual Trucking Company, which is on Truckbooks or VTM. VTM or Truckbooks, I personally would join uh, Truckbooks, personally. It's just uh, better. <laughs> I mean, you can use pro mods on it, you know. I'm in the wrong company. I always go to the wrong company, man. Ah, game of video. Nice to see you being back to some of the old videos. What is that cable in your headset? It's a charging cable. I, obviously, my wife basically carried me through to the bedroom when I did my back in, so. I've, uh, I didn't have time to charge any of my stuff, so I've just sat down a day to do an hour before I popped down to the doctors, and uh, obviously nothing's charged, so. I don't know how, how, how good the screens look or anything. I think the camera's a little bit... Uh, I think it might be better around that way, is it? I don't really know, to be honest. Alright, freight market, where are we at? That's the one. It's 
Scan your shifter knob. Uh, it's just here, buddy. I, I cannot reach it, to be honest. It's there, mate. There you go. Could we have the head cam or I, I, I kind of bend down to pick it up mate to be honest with you. I've just left the camera where it was so. It's just I'll be running all the games just like this for the next few days. I mean, I prefer the head cam and if my wife, when my wife gets back, she, she might set it up for me, but I, I just, I kind of bend down on the floor to get it. Right, off we go. I think we're going down to Edinburgh, are we? Uh, oh, ah, we're going to the hole, actually. Right, there we go, we're off. Hiya, firefighter, mate, how are you doing? Doing good, looking forward to getting my wheel. Quite excited now, I, I still haven't had a shipping number yet, like, but it'll, it'll come when it comes. We're going down to get Emma's TV later today, so I'll get that put on the wall for her. Luckily, I've already put the wall mount on, so... Uh, yeah, quite pleased with that, like. <laughs> All right, uh, just unboxed. A die cast model truck. Oh, nice. I do like models like. Yeah, firefighter, that's it, mate. I don't, there's a. I was looking last night on the website, there's a Blaupunk one for about the price that William actually sent over. But there's a Toshiba one that's reduced to about one sev uh, 270, so I think we're going to try and stretch to that, I think. I've always found like you just get such a better picture quality, you know. Hey, good morning. Uh, I'm gonna drive Truckers MP now. Uh, get some miles in. Awesome, buddy. Yeah, well, we've got a month to see if we can get number one. I reckon. Hopefully, we'll see. I reckon we'll get a million miles in if we concentrate on the real miles, anyway. I can't see why not. Uh, Bradley, yeah, not not too bad. I'll only be on for an hour today. Uh, I might be on later on. I don't, I don't, I don't think I will be. Like, but we'll see. I'll try and make it on tonight for for Euro Truck, but just see how I feel. Also, on the plus side, I have been designing some merch while I've been in bed, so quite looking forward to that. Like, how are you doing, firefighter mate? Are you doing all right? I know you disappeared from the uh, <laughs> from the Discord now for a couple of days. You must have been absolutely hammered. Where was it yesterday? I, I, I don't stream on a Tuesday ever. I never stream on a Tuesday. It's my day off. 
I only stream six days a week. But I won't be streaming much today anyway. And good going to jump on the farm soon. Uh, yeah, I had a while. That's good, mate. You deserve it, buddy. You deserve it. And uh, honestly, thanks again for me wheel, man. I just I can't, uh, I can't thank you enough. Uh, no, it's uh, it's seven o'clock at night in the game, so there's not much traffic on the roads. Through the day, it's a bit busy, like, but yeah, it's uh, quarter past seven at night, so it's quite dark, like. Hey, James P3, how you doing, buddy? George, you do realise that that isn't the actual slap train that you think it is, I think. I got. Oh, I haven't got my auxiliary lights on. Well, that's no good. Yeah, so hopefully uh, I can pull around a little bit for a truck fest like gutted. <laughs> but uh, I should still have a good time. Looking forward to it. Ordered my dad a little surprise yesterday, so. Uh, he doesn't know about, so that'll be uh, funny once it comes in. I was going to tell Firefighter about it, but uh, I couldn't catch him this morning on uh, Discord. I did pop on, but it was like a ghost town, unfortunately. Right, a spacesuit. Oh yeah, he would love to wear a spacesuit at Chuck Fest, man. <laughs> he would. He really would. Ah, it's nice to be back. It's nice to be back gaming. I was tempted to try. Well, I did try and, and talk my wife if we get the telly in the bedroom today that I'm going to move my streaming P3 C3 in the bedroom so I can do a bit of farming or something while I'm laid down. But nice to be up and about. Hey, Carl, mate. Hey, Carl, supper. Yeah, doing, doing all right. I'm just on for an hour just to kind of let everybody know that I'm okay. Uh, so, yeah, just... Yeah, I, I will definitely... Should be back full tomorrow. Uh, and then Friday, and then obviously Saturday, Sunday, I'll be... I, I don't know what I'm doing because my me, me mum and dad are here, so... More than likely, the channel will be quiet for a bit, I think. But... Uh, yeah, it was just to kind of let everybody know I'm good. I, I need to go back to the doctors again, so... Uh, might be on tonight at nine. We'll just see how I feel, really. But uh, I just want to have as much rest as possible. But, yeah, I, I, I am quite aware that the head cam, for the screen's point of view, looks miles better. You don't get any haze or anything, so I will sort that out, but... Chuck Fest is at the weekend, mate, Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, I can't believe we we beat the Panthers on there. Uh, I know I, I can't do it. I've tried resting, but I just can't. I just, I mean, luckily I couldn't actually walk far, so I couldn't get in my room. Honestly, I just hell, it was that so. Uh, I just just couldn't do it. Like on the uh, on the merch front, uh, I've got a couple of designs up and ready anyway so basically what I'm gonna do is to start with see the problem is to start with you're not gonna make much money not unless you actually bulk order and stuff so I think on t-shirts I'm gonna make like four pound a t-shirt by the time you order it then send it back out and then like hoodies I think it's like you know six or seven pound a hoodie I'll make on it but which I, I don't mind, you know, it's more it's more the fact 
of getting merch out there you know so what I'm gonna do to start with is I'm gonna order some stuff for myself so every I'm gonna every each t-shirt I order I'll order with a different design on then I can take photos of that particular design and then show you guys and see what you think I think I need to dip my toe in the merch at some point so because I want to wear my own merch <laughs> so and uh, Streamlabs has their own merch store now as well so so yeah uh, well, when we went to the hospital I'm not actually 100% sure what I've done the uh, they think I've bruised the left hand side right round where my kidneys are they, that's what they think uh, but uh, yeah I just, just had a seizure and fell bad it's life Unfortunately, it happens all the time. It just happens that it hasn't happened for a while where I've hurt myself quite badly and you guys never need to know about it. But every time I have a seizure, you know, if I've got a massive bruise on my back or I've, you know, put a, ba a bad scar in my leg or something like that, I don't come on stream and show you, you know what I mean? So if I've got a bad limp or anything, you never see it. You only see it if it's on my face or on my arms. It's the only time you see it. Like, all these scratches up here that people are noticing when I have the face cam on. So I don't talk about it because there's no need to, but something like that I can't hide. And it happened while I was on Discord as well, so obviously people who were in Discord heard it as well, so... I might be able to get some sleeping in soon. Right, can you put up a second live stream for cabin view? I don't know what that means. You mean you mean this view? No, I'm just, I, I don't do that view, mate. If you want to watch that view, go and watch Squirrel or someone like that. Yeah, uh, the slap trade, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I think sticking with certain scenes and that, but it's quite complicated with the copyright law and that by the look of it. Uh, so, you know, my wife's trying to help us the best I can, but... Uh, yeah, just... Yeah, well, I just, I've got a few things that I think I'm going to raise a bit of money and then I've got a few hoodies and t-shirts and hats that I'm going to order for myself and then I can show you guys. So, we'll see how it goes. Oh, Scania's struggling to do it. I do like this truck, like, this is probably my favourite. It is nice though, isn't it? Hey Paul, how are you doing buddy? Hope you're doing alright mate. Hey gaming kid, how are you doing mate? You alright? 
Yeah, so I think we're meant to be doing the ETS2 uh, tonight, like, so. Uh, yeah, I think we're on the. I don't know where we're starting from tonight, but I'm going to kind of judge how I feel later on. I've got my mum and dad coming on Friday, so I kind of want to get the house tidied and that, which I haven't been able to do with my back, like, so. Yeah, Jake, yeah, rev counter works, yeah. No, 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 and I don't, I don't want to break in my truck. I have still got like ten days to go on it. That was part of the deal. Uh, I think so. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. I mean the sound of this truck. I can't remember which uh, which open pipe I'm using because I tried to help my dad yesterday, but it just all went wrong. So yeah, it was just one from the Steam Workshop. Like, well, when my dad went looking, it wasn't there, but I'm not, I'm not sure. Right, 340 miles ago, so I can probably stop and get get some sleep, and then it'll be a bit lighter. Now, I don't know if uh, Mr. William Twin comes in today. My God, I want to give him a big thank you. Jesus, greatly appreciated for that, mate. Yeah, so I don't know. My dad has two trucks going to Truck Fest on Friday. Awesome, buddy. I mean, I'm going Saturday, Sunday, so uh, I don't know what we're doing uh, on Friday night or Saturday night if me, if me and my dad are going to stream or not. I have no idea. But we'll see how that goes. Right, we're going to pop in here and get a quick nap. Hey, Jake, mate, how are you doing? I don't need fuel, I need sleep. Yeah, not bad mate, not bad. I'm, I'm only on till about 10 past 1 because I've got a, an appointment or two like so.
Yeah, I don't, I don't know why the camera and that's quite blown out today, but I'm, I, I don't really care. It's very hazy today for some reason, but we'll get the head cam on for tonight. I'll get my wife to help us set it up. I don't know what engine I've got in this scan you but it's not got much grunt behind it I tell you. Yeah, I mean the set of course is good but it's only really good on the uh, on PC because you can put the mods in. But on like on PS4 you can't mod it so you know you can't have all the nice drift cars that are in it. Officer Smiley, how you doing buddy? I'm doing alright mate, yeah I'm doing alright. Not too bad. Better than I was yesterday anyway. But not myself, I'm a little bit uh dopey and that but I just thought I would pop on let everyone know I was okay and, uh, and, and, and everything will be back to normal as soon as possible <laughs> so I'm sure me and my dad will do a stream at some point over the weekend I would think I'm pretty sure I was going to say we'd probably do it Saturday, but I, I don't really want to leave my mum downstairs on her own with her dogs. That wouldn't be fair. And my wife's at work till one in the morning on a Saturday, so... Right, we got second place in race miles and real miles for you, bud. Now we got first place in real miles, uh, in uh, in race miles. We got second place in real miles, which I thought was a really good battle between uh, the Panthers. I hope it is close next month but I don't think it will be I think we'll be a few more miles than them next month bear in mind with the uh, with the truck box we started 14 days behind them so we they over a month they did 650,000 miles we did that in 14 days so you know <laughs> we're definitely going to be ahead this month Robert, hi Mark. Uh, I had mod tested yesterday when I spoke to you, but the mod was too noisy, so... Alright, you could just turn the game sound down, but... Panthers have lost three of the top drivers. Oh no! Why? That's not good. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ah, so dopey today, man. Uh, oh, I, w I will do, uh, Paul. I mean, one of the managers will be in at some point. And we'll accept you, but v the VTM is getting quite busy. Uh, oh, they made a new one. All ah, right. Uh, yeah, 
most of us just uh, concentrate on the truck box now. Uh, but I, I will, I will be keeping the VTM open. But it's hard. I mean, you get like 300 requests you have to accept every day on that truck box. Uh, sorry, on VTM. Truck box does it all for you. Truck box is so much easier for me to maintain. Ah, uh, that's not good. Got oh, firefighters still here. Question is, firefighter, you're gonna have to get some merch when it comes. Gonna have to make like a, a specific firefighter merch armor. <laughs> Julie that yeah if they have a big boy sizes yeah they will yeah yeah they definitely will I've, I've just ordered one for myself I ordered myself a, uh, a hoodie it's got uh, Armstrong haulage written across the front it's got a picture of a 164L Scania on the back and underneath the picture it says Iveco for the bin, Scania for the win. Hey! So I just ordered that yesterday so... <laughs> I was going to order something else but I, I ran out of cash. <laughs> uh, have you have a fire truck? Mark's name in the middle. Uh, oh yeah, that, that's a good idea. <laughs> oh, I definitely need to got that wrong t-shirt I've got quite a few I need like seal team you know for me dad gimp suit for the win I, I've designed a whole load I just I need some uh, revenue to, to get them bought so once I get MSTV sorted anything that goes into PayPal after that for the next month or two I'm going to use to uh, just to get, get some merch bought uh, so I can then use that to advertise a little bit with it yeah there's, I've got quite a few I want to get me, me and me dad I want to get me dad a few t-shirts and that to wear on the streams and then I'll get myself a few uh, so yeah be good no I know I set a course at a day I, I couldn't clutch kick <laughs> no I, I, this is probably this could be the only stream today I just uh, I need a, I need a bit more time to just uh, recover a little bit in the painkillers and that I'm on are making me a little dopey. Uh, there isn't any merch available just yet. The cheapest place I can find to get the merch made uh, t-shirt will be around about twenty pounds, uh, and uh, hoodies will be around about forty, I think. So, which, I, which still is quite expensive for you guys, you know, but that's me making like £3 on a t-shirt and like £7 on a hoodie, it's not, I'm not making massive money, you know. Uh, I was trying, I was hoping to get like t-shirts for like 10 quid, but it's going to cost me like 15 to get them made. Then I've got to send them. I've got to get them posted here and then posted away. I don't know whether to just post them straight from the website. That might be, I don't, I don't know enough about it yet, but the main thing is I need to order some for myself. 
and then I can show you guys what it looks like on what what's available and then you guys can order it from there uh, and we'll see how it goes but it's something I definitely want to do and I need some new t-shirts anyway man most of the stuff I own's all got holes in from when I fall over all the time seeing as though I enjoy throwing myself on the floor a lot <laughs> Uh, well, I spent most of the day yesterday for a, di a few different websites, so... Uh, yeah, the one I found is pretty good. If you order in bulk, there, uh, obviously you save more, which I might do in the future, but at the moment it would need to be, you know, lower. <laughs> need some Laura merch, really? She's that famous already? So now I've ordered something for myself, so and I try and get my dad I was gonna try and get my dad some ordered for truck fest but we'll need to wait and see. Right, how would you feel about a million subs? That's a long way off yet, but I mean to be so close to a hundred thousand is just incredible man. It's absolutely incredible. Honestly. You have no idea how it feels, unless you've got that many subs yourself and when you certainly haven't tried to get subscribers and people have just subbed because they enjoy, you know, listening to you, which I can't understand. <laughs> I get sick of listening to myself, man. What, we get an I love firefighter, I know. I should <laughs> Yeah we should. The firefighter that mainly built the merch store, him and William. <laughs> we'll just get a thank you t shirt for them. No sitting in bed with my wife yesterday and I thought no why not I don't get much time to sit and design stuff so that's why I thought no we'll get sat down we'll sort some stuff out the only thing is I don't know where I stand with like copyrighted stuff like I'm assuming if I take the photo I can do what I want with it so if I take a photo of somebody's truck it's my photo so I can then sell it I think I think that's how it works so It's, uh, it's very hard trying to learn the whole, uh, yeah, it's hard trying to learn the whole uh, the copywriting laws, you know, but my wife's a good help, and I do apologise for being a bit slow today and a little bit sleepy. <laughs> Right, the flying boy, did you say, uh, what did they say at the hospital when you got checked up? Uh, yeah, not doing too bad, mate. Uh, you just badly bruised. Uh, just in quite a bit of pain, so that's pretty much what they think it is. You know, There's not an awful lot they can do once they've x-rayed you, so. Uh, what screen you can do what you want yeah that's true yeah uh, Fee I just, just, just had a seizure in Feldbrom just, just normal I always fall badly I just don't uh, I don't choose to share it with people but unfortunately when it's this bad I can't hide it so and it was live well it wasn't live on camera but it was live on discord so <laughs> not a lot I can do just, 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 just uh, tweaked me back and I've uh, just been struggling to walk and that but uh, I'll be fine in a few days, like, I'm just uh, highly doped up on nice painkillers at the moment.
Right, uh... Oh, mate, I know. Tempted. My dad couldn't push me anyway, so it'd be no good. <laughs> Yeah, thanks, Faith. Hope he was updating us uh, on ETS2 before the stream started. Sounds painful, but yeah, that's it. Emma's always helping us. Yeah, we've dealt with it for the past six years, so <laughs> yeah, not too bad. But as I say, on the plus side, I got a nice day in bed and finally got one piece of merchandise ordered and. As I say, if I can scrape some more money together, we'll uh, we try. We're going to try and work it where if I can order two or three things a month and try and build a stock of merch, and then I can use that merch to then advertise with. So when I'm wearing it, I can show you guys what it looks like. I have to turn myself into a model. Might have to lay off the monster. Like <laughs> I have uh, caption it. Yeah, better mate. Doing better. Just on for an hour. Off to the doctors and then uh, might be back on later. I don't, there won't be many streams uh, at the moment and it'll just be a Euro truck or possibly some farming. I hope that involves me just sitting in this chair and changing nothing. <laughs> so. Yeah, I mean, I do, I do, have, a, I do have a wheelchair when the seizures used to be really bad and I couldn't walk. Uh, so I, I used to have to use a wheelchair a lot and fantastic not needing that anymore. Right, uh, Ben here, how are you doing buddy? Yeah, just, just looking forward to the truck fest now man. Yeah, my dad's coming up on uh, on Friday like so. Yeah, quite quite excited for it now like. All right, Liam, mate, you take it easy. Yeah, I got my new, uh, got my new wheel coming as well, so I'm quite looking forward to that. And I got Emma's uh, big old William twin cam donated last night, and uh, we're going to go and get Emma a TV today. So I'm just contemplating whether to wait a couple of days and try and get her a better telly, or just get the cheapest one we can. I don't know what to, not 100% what to do yet, but we're gonna go and have a look. There's a Toshiba one for about 270, and there's a Blau Punk, I think it is, for like 210. So I don't know whether to wait and just put 70 quid towards it and get the better one, do you know what I mean? It's like, uh, picture quality will be better, like. I have to run uh, off for a while. I was just checking up on you, brother. Need to fix me wheel. Okay, mate. Yeah, you take it easy, buddy. Have a good. Nice, nice for you to pop in there, bud. Right, we've got 78 miles, so we will, we will get another job done, which is good. We're in the Scanny 164, uh, and we, yeah, we should get another job because we've got 70 mile left, and then. Uh, we should be able to take a job because we're on the hull now, so we should be able to take another short job. I'm on till about ten past one, so it's awesome to be back on. Like, is that capture ducked out again? She's struggling on power, this scanning today. Make sure my dad doesn't see. Uh, yeah, Dean, I say I've got mine here anywhere that I can take with us. Silent Tempo, how come you're only back on? I don't know what that means. How come you're only back on? I don't know what that means. Sorry, mate. Oh, here she comes. Power. You're coming back in. Oh, honestly, man. 
They always ask people not to jump on his back, but people aren't going to jump on his back. That's not what grown-ups do. You said it's good to be back. Ah, oh, yeah, well, it's me normal. I'm normally off yesterday anyway, but uh, I did me back in the day before, and I'm only on for now. I'm just saying it's nice to be back on the channel, that's all. Normally I do four streams a day, eight hours a day, and I'm only doing this stream, I think, so might be on tonight, we'll see. Just see what the pain's like, and I feel a little bit dozy. <laughs> but in a good way, I suppose. But I'm not as talkative as normal, so the streams will be a bit quieter than normal. I do apologise. But nice to be gaming and take my mind off it a bit, to be honest. Hey, what though, it's fantastic to see my dad putting some good miles in on the company, like, it is really nice to see. And he's obviously really enjoying himself, so, which is good. I, I never thought we'd get him into single player that much, like. Oh, he is. I mean, Pro Mods is just phenomenal, you know. Just, it's just nice. I mean, I think a lot of people are being surprised how much he plays through the day, but he does game a lot. He just doesn't stream that much. Uh, you know, and he does what he enjoys, and that's the main thing. I've always said if if he found it easier and less stressful and, and enjoyed it more to have his own channel, go for it, you know. I would support him 110 percent but he does like he loves being a part of this channel. Right, Mark Jacobson. What is Promos exactly? Have bought it but need one more DLC. Right. Uh, Promods is a map extension. Right, so the best way to, to describe Promods would be to show you. So forget about the actual green colour on my map. Uh, because obviously <laughs> uh, I've changed, I've put a map mod in. But so basically, it's probably better to show you through here, actually, hang on. So if you go into your job market normally, right? So normally, you don't, you only have up to uh, Aberdeen, isn't it, normally? So you normally only have up to here, right? So all this is an add-on, right? And then you've got the whole of Iceland up here, which is all, all an add-on. Then you've got the whole of Ireland, so you've got the Island Man, you've got all this, that's all an add-on. The Pro Mods does change some of this as well. It adds in some little extra jobs and roads. You get some of the bottom of France put in down here. I can't remember exactly. Uh, they do change some of this, but then also you get like Romania. Uh, you know, obviously some of this down here. You get, oh, this is Rush Map as well. So I've got Russia in. 
which is which is the same as pro mods basically and then you get some of Finland as well so you get obviously all of this which isn't in uh, the normal map so it, it's just fantastic like it's just it adds a whole new part in which is just unbelievable really yep yeah mark yep that's it if you get the rush map and pro mod all in the same folder it, it, it works out as about two dollars i think but honestly man one of the mods can get rid of jesse please yeah okay ben mate you take it easy buddy Yeah, it's about a pound seventy for both maps. I would definitely highly recommend getting both maps at once. About one pound uh, fifty, sorry, for both maps. And it's well, it's well worth it. Like, all right, we're just coming up to hole now. Uh, why not play multiplayer? I do play multiplayer, but only on the night time. I don't play multiplayer through the day. I only play multiplayer with my dad. And the reason I like to play a single player is because uh, it's because you get to use all these beautiful mods. This truck's a mod, the map's a mod, the sound's a mod, the interior's a mod. E everything that we're using is pretty much a mod at the moment. Good to see we got first and we did first in the race miles. I don't know if we'll be first in the race miles next month because uh, I don't think we can concentrate on both. But we'll see. I'm driving a Scania 164. Yeah, that's it, firefighter, mate, that's it. You're completely right. Yeah, I mean, I, I would rather be first in real miles than first in in the uh, in the other miles. Like, I see firefighter finally joined us on the truck box now. Right, Tyler David, how do we see if we're doing race miles on truck books? You can check your logbook on your profile and it'll tell you, but also if you go over 62 mile an hour at all, that's classed as race miles. So each job you do, if you keep it under 62, you're doing real. If you go over 62, you're doing race. Yeah, I mean, bear in mind, we started 14 days behind last month, so this month's going to be interesting to see where we're at. The other companies had 14 days on, on us, so if you double the mileage that we put in, we wouldn't have got first, but we would have been up there, I think. Longford, lad, how are you doing, buddy? Yeah, so once uh, once we come back from Truck Fest as well, I'm going to be planning my first ever meetup. If anybody wants to actually meet up with me in uh, in Glasgow, I'll be doing my first ever meetup after Truck Fest. So it's going to be at the uh, at the VR Centre, which I'm quite looking forward to. And hopefully, I'll have some sort of merch bought by then, where if whoever meets up, I can maybe give some away to them as well 
Ah, where are we where are we off to now? I, I don't know if I'm feeling that truck. I think we're gonna I think we're gonna go a different truck. I don't mind the truck, don't get me wrong, but quite enjoying driving the old man TGA, but I don't know, I'm not enjoying well, I am enjoying it, but I'm not gonna go the heavy haul variant. I'm gonna go back in the back in the the DHL one, I think. Quite enjoying that. Come to Ireland. <laughs> I'm up for that, mate. Uh, I'm just 20 minutes from Glasgow. There you go. So, I will. I will advertise it. Obviously, once uh, once it comes closer, I'll be actually booking a date there anyway. And you guys are welcome to come and and uh, and join in as much as you like. So, you'll actually be able to book a slot if you want as well at the VR Centre and, and race me if you like. So. Yeah, so there you go. That'll be. Uh, I'm hoping to kind of work with them a little bit in the future if I can. Somehow, uh, I thought that would be a great. Some people like to meet up in cafes and things, but I don't know. It's not really me meeting up in a cafe, you know. Uh, could I do a meet in Bristol? I mean, I can't drive, so no. <laughs> uh, and obviously, I can't go on my own, so I mean, that would mean my wife would have to take me all the way there. And don't get me wrong, in the future, I would say I'm, I, I might go further. You know, I, I might end up going to every truck fest that's available. I don't know if I enjoy it that much. But uh, at the moment, I think it's fair enough to just meet up where I live. Uh, which I can do, uh, and to be honest, I, I just thought it'd be a, I just thought it'd be fun, you know. I thought it'd be nice to get get some racing done, and uh, and I've not done an awful lot in VR either, so I just thought it would be uh, a, go, a, a good bit of a laugh, you know. But we'll see. I mean, if nobody turns up, then obviously I'm quite aware that it's probably not worth it. Nice BP trailer there. I think we'll uh, we'll take that. Right, maybe you can have a giveaway price for a month best employee in race miles like a t-shirt talking about maybe your employees will drive more for yeah I mean I think if I'm going to do best player I'm going to need to have a word with William Twincam and, uh, and possibly get him to stand back after he if, if he wins I mean, what I maybe do is once someone's won once then they can't win again for another few months or something like that because it, it wouldn't be fair then because there's certain people that put really high mileage in all the time but yeah i am thinking about a competition based giveaway because i think that's fair then because then you win it uh so yeah i have already thought about that so Right, no open pipe sound for once, eh? I think I've got the camera a little bit low, I think. I think that's probably the problem. But it's just so uncomfortable to try and change it, you know? Hey, Snowflake, mate, how are you doing? 
Right, we're in Moscow at the moment. I'm going to go and pick my uh, BP trailer up. Uh, Green, I use lots of different sound mods. And a lot of the different trucks come with different sound mods as well. Uh, I'm driving a Man TGA at the moment. Nice truck this, I like it. Hey, not a problem mate, not a problem. Hey, would you say Pro Mods is reliable enough to apply to your... Oh yeah, I mean that... I, I mean I used to get a lot, of, uh, a lot of crashes with it when I first ever got Pro Mods, but... With 2.27, I don't think I've ever had a crash. Well, you've you see me. I play it all the time, and I only play it live, so I can't hide anything. Uh, yeah, it just you can see how reliable it is, and this is with rush mapping as well. So that's got Russia in as well. Right, that's uh, ten to one. So we're, oh, Jesus Christ! So I can only do about another 15 minutes and then I'm going to give my wife a shout and we'll, she'll need to pull us out of the chair and then we'll, uh, I might be back later, I'm, I'm hoping to be in the ETS2 stream but we'll see how it goes. Right, we're taking the BP trailer. Oh yeah, a lot of people like me old, me old DIY rig, you know. And don't get me wrong, it's really, really nice, and it, and it did do the job. But having a rig like this, where you can adjust it whenever you need to, and that is just incredible. Alright, could you do a video on how to duplicate profiles so one for mods? Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't duplicate the profile. Uh, all I do is, well, I made me single player profile, started from the bottom and worked my way up. Uh, my multiplayer profile, I just downloaded a, a, a modified one from uh, from an ETS2 mod site and just put that in. So. It already had all the garages and I bought and it was uh, and then I, it had the money mod added to it as well so yeah I already tried mate but uh, apparently it's just, I've just got to wait for the bruising to heal so
Hi John, how are you doing mate? Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Just saying I uh, got my first piece of merch ordered which uh, yesterday, so kinda of hoping it comes for Truck Fest. Uh, and I'm getting quite excited now to try and get some merch ordered, so yeah, quite quite looking forward to saving up a bit and getting some merch done. So I got a ordered myself a hoodie with Armstrong haulage on the front. Uh, and on the back it's got a picture of a Scania 164 uh, on the back quite a big picture and then underneath I've got Iveco for the bin Scania for the win <laughs> so I'm quite looking forward to get it in like uh, does your sound quality no it's just a charging cable it's not connected to the computer it's plugged into the wall Yeah, but if you're into that sort of thing, John, I'm I'm more than happy to swap wives for a bit if you want. Right, uh, so far I've saved two hundred pounds towards buying my rig. Awesome, buddy. What rig are you going for? It's a nice tank of this, look. Right, we've got 580 miles to go, which I'm not going to be able to finish, so we'll, we'll go and get out of the town and we'll find a petrol station or somewhere where we can get pulled up and pulled over. Yeah, shit. Well, I'm hoping it'll be here tomorrow, I'm hoping, so the GT Omega at cockpit, the RS9. Oh, nice, mate. That'll be good. I don't think she would see it like that. Uh, what's the plan f tonight as? have to mess up. Ah, uh, I don't know yet. I just have to see what my back's like. I'm like. Obviously, I'm hoping to be on tonight, but I'm just, I've got to go out so, and I've got a bit of walking to do. So I'll go out, get that sorted, and then I'm hoping to be on the Euro truck tonight. It'll be the, uh, it'll be the DLC night. What's my favourite truck? Scania 164L. Yeah, uh, Scania 164L. That's my favourite, like. Yeah, well, I'm going to put a poll up, I think, next week and just see what people's favourite type of thing would be uh, from the merchandise side of things. I'm quite excited for it now. I'm looking forward to actually get some for myself. Uh, but yeah, I was kind of thinking, like, you know, is it truck oriented stuff you'd rather see, or would it just be sort of sayings, you know, like Iveco for the win or Scania for the win, or you know, things like that. Uh, and you know, down the actual side of, would you prefer t-shirts, hoodies, hats? You know, that's kind of what I'm trying to think of. My mic just sounded like I was underwater. Really? That's not good. Well, I'm sitting there, so shouldn't it shouldn't be. I think a scan your Armstrong hoodie would be cool yeah yeah mate I'm hoping like 
If I take some photos of some trucks at Truckfest, I'll be able to use them for merch because they're, my, they're mine, so. Yeah, stickers stickers are very easy. I can get I can do stickers no bother. My friend who's part well who comes on the channel quite a bit, uh Hutchie, they they run a sign writing company, so not a problem for stickers. So Uh, Alex, I mean, to be honest, they run a big sign writing company, like, quite massive, so it'll be no hassle. The amount of stuff they can knock out, unbelievable. Right, just be careful, because you may have to get photo release since you'll be making profit. Photo release, so what does that mean? Then? That's what I'm saying, this is where I'm a little bit lost. Uh, my dad should be all right. My dad should be able to help us quite a bit because he's he, he he did look into photography as a business a, a while back, like before he wasn't well. So he should be able to help us a little bit on the copyright in front. But that's the hard part when you know absolutely nothing like hey Dylan I have no idea mate I know as much as you do I placed the order that's all I know so until they send me a tracking number there's not a lot I can tell you mate unfortunately Trying to find somewhere decent to get pulled over, you know. <laughs> ah, there is a petrol station not far off. We'll, we'll go there. Right, it's basically getting permission first. The person would sign a paper saying it's okay to do whatever you want with that image. That usually, no, I don't. I don't think that applies if you're taking the photo. I'm pretty sure. It's different if you're going into someone's property, but when they're at a at a public event, I don't think that'll apply. But I'll double check with my dad, my dad knows he'll know things about like that, like but I'm pretty sure you'll be alright. Not if I'm taking the photo. <laughs> Different if I was going to somebody's company and taking the photo of their company truck and uh and then trying to sell it, I think, yeah, but at a public event, I, I, I don't think it'll be an issue. As long as it's my photo and not, some, not another photographer's photo. So, which, again, I'll, I've got my camera anyway, so. No, I think I'll be all right on that front. The, the truck that I've put on the back of my hoodie that I've ordered, I wouldn't be able to sell. Uh, but I, I just got that just for my own. I just wanted a hoodie for a truck fest, you see. Ah, Laura, someone was just talking about you. <laughs> I was just talking about sorting some merchandise out, like hoodies, jumpers, t-shirts, that sort of thing. And uh, someone said, we need uh, Laura merch. You've become more famous on my channel than I have. Right, Mark, where do I message you on Facebook? Uh, just send it uh, to a private message. Oh, honestly... Laura, that's a question. Did you add me on Facebook? 
No problem. I just didn't want to accept the Laura if it wasn't you. Uh, afternoon all. Oh yeah, Alan mate, how's it going? Ah, excellent. Thank you. <laughs> I thought I'm gonna I'm just gonna ask. Right, in the US if you take a shot of a person and sold it, that person could sue me if they found out. Not too sure. Uh, oh, I don't think it's like that over here, but I would need to double check. I would need to double check. But again, I, I'm just going to be taking photos of trucks anyway, so not people, but. But no, I mean. There's loads of vloggers and all that who make money from their vlogs and they're walking around all over. That means anyone in that vlog could then contact them and say, oh, you're making a profit from me being in your vlog. And I, I don't think it's that way, in that way, like. Yeah, I thought it was like that, Grant. Uh, hey, Oliver, mate, how are you doing? No, as I say, my, my dad honestly knows a lot about it. Obviously, when he was taking photos and, and, and was framing and selling them, was going to frame and sell them, he did look into it. So, I'll just speak to my dad about it. But again, at the moment, I'm not too concerned because the merch that I'm getting made is more for myself to then show you guys. So, it's not too much of a concern at the moment because I won't be making a profit on it. But, obviously, when I actually make it to sell it, that's going to be... Uh, yeah, that's going to be uh, the next step, we'll see. It's been nice being laid up in bed actually designing stuff. I've actually really enjoyed it. So, it kind of surprised me on how much it's going to cost to get the stuff made and like how little you'll actually make. But over time, I'll be able to change and get it made in bulk and that, which would help. But yeah, it kind of think it surprised my wife. I'll have to see how uh, demanding it is as well, because, you know. But the company we're going with, they, they can post it straight to your door as well, which which will save me having to buy it, get it here, then repost it out. They're not going to let me out now. Hey, mate, just come back from your awesome, buddy. That's good, yeah. I use Pro Mods and Rush Map, yeah. Thomas, how are you doing? Not too bad. Recovering slowly. <laughs> I should be back on phone tomorrow. I'm going to try and do some more tomorrow. Uh, I don't do Twitch, no. Yeah, Rob, you're just uh, basically making what I thought correct. So, I kind of thought that. Uh, no, I wasn't ill, mate. I suffer from seizures, so. Uh, and I've done my back in the, the day before yesterday. I just, just fell badly. And uh, badly bruised my spine spinal something next to my kidneys I think of some around that re region so yeah just just not just struggling to walk at the moment but a couple of days a week or so I'll be back at it on quite strong painkillers so I'm a little bit uh, <laughs> I'm a bit sleepy so I just want to do this stream to, you know so everyone knew I was okay and I, I will be back I haven't gone anywhere so <laughs> I promise you I'll be back so yeah, well, me, me and my dad used to freelance a bit as well, so, yeah, I kind of understand some of it, but, yeah. The light, the lights are really dark. Well, I wouldn't say so. I would say they're about as normal as what they are. I mean, the lights don't move anywhere, so, <laughs> the lights are exactly where they are all the time, so. Anyway, I'll see you all later. I might be on there tonight. I'll just have to see how I feel. I've got to go out, so. I'll see you all later guys, thanks again.
Have a good one and take care.